Uh, today I'm going to be moving my Alocasia aslanii, which uh, is potted in aeroid soil in a pot that's pretty small for it now. I've decided I'm going to try growing it in like a the pond. So I have my rock pond right here. I'm going to pot it up in a uh, self-watering system using a plastic grower's pot, a glass uh, vase to keep the water, and I'm going to use cotton wick. So here we go. The first thing I did, I rinsed the pond really well. I wanted to flush out, I don't know, any build up any dirt. I don't really know, but I figured it wouldn't hurt. So I did that. Um, I'm going to cut my string. And so it's going to be hanging over the pot. I want it to come out and be able to reach down into the pot. So maybe this long. Sorry, I'm gonna feed the wick through the hole. Did I cut this long enough? I don't know. Like this. And I'm gonna do that in all three holes. Now I'm going to be taking my Alocasia aslanii out of the pot it's in. I will warn, Alocasia absolutely hate having their roots messed with at all. They generally like to be bound in a pot um, to a certain extent. So I probably uh, will have an upset Alocasia when I'm done with this, but I hope that it'll recover quickly. And any time you repot an alocasia, I recommend uh, doing it over something that you could sort out the soil because they do drop corms. I'm not, I'm not seeing too many, but it's a good idea to check because each corm is a new plant and alocasia is a really cool one. Alocasia aslanii. Here's the corm. Boop. I'm going to take that off. Yay! I am going to go and try to rinse some of the dirt off of uh, the roots. Well, it's still in its grower's plug. This one, more than likely, was a tissue culture alocasia. Oh, another form. Usually it'll come in this, like, wrap and be grown in a type of peat moss. Okay, so I rinsed most of the roots off, um, or, you know, most of the dirt off of the roots. I didn't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna break the roots, so I'm not gonna go crazy. Most of this is just bark that's caught into it, the roots and I don't want to break them off because I'm going to need them. So I'm going to okay. I'm going to stick this quite low because rhizome grows tall. So for better support, I might as well have it sit low. Okay, now I have the rocks in. I'm going to add water to the glass vase. I don't want too much water that the pot is sitting in water, just really enough that the wick, the cotton wicks can absorb. And I will clean out the water quite frequently, just sort of flush it out and make sure the water is 
clean and perfect. Voila. And I will keep you posted on what happens next with the Azlani eye. Thank you. I collected four corms from the Alocasia Azlani eye. I'm actually going to just tuck them back into the pond.